Hey guys, I'm Matt Pittman with Meat Church. Today we're gonna be making bacon wrapped venison tenderloin with a chimichurri sauce. Our first step today is to make our chimichurri. We're gonna start with cilantro, in with the flat leaf parsley, oregano, shallot, minced garlic, the diced fresh jalapenos, don't worry, it's not too hot, lemon juice, now red wine vinegar, and olive oil. Well, I like to make this first because I wanna put it in the fridge before we make our venison so these flavors can start to meld together. And I'm gonna tell you that this chimichurri pairs so well with red meat. The acidity in it just cuts that red meat. I mean, it's gonna be tough for you not to just continually dip your slices of meat in this as you eat it. It's great, it's great with so many red meats, but it's particularly good with venison and it's so easy to make. So now that this chimichurri is mixed, let's put it in the fridge and let's get to making our venison. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to season our tenderloin. I'm gonna use my holy cow seasoning. It's a great seasoning for wild game. It's primarily salt and pepper with a little bit of garlic. So it's a great flavor profile uh, for venison. And we're gonna go light because I'm actually gonna season the outside of the bacon as well. And I'll tell you, we've also removed the silver skin from this venison. Silver skin is a source of gaminess. And so you wanna remove that uh, with a very sharp boning knife before you actually season it uh, to help enhance the taste. Now, people are scared of cooking venison often because they dry it out because it's a super lean cut of meat. So the key to that is to not overcook it. But we are also wrapping in bacon, which will act as an additional layer um, of protection, a little moisture barrier, and hey, everything's better with bacon. We're just wrapping this around basically in a single layer, except anywhere uh, where it might just overlap just a little bit, and you're not gonna need toothpicks or anything of that nature. Now, I'm using a standard cut bacon that I got at my local grocery store. I like standard cut um, over thick cut for stuff like this. Um, you know, but you could go either way, to be honest with you. This is just kind of when I'm cooking and wrapping, I like to go with a standard cut, nice piece of bacon here. Today, we're gonna be cooking this bacon wrapped tenderloin on an offset smoker. And I'll tell you why I go that route with this. This reminds me of being out on the deer lease where you might not have electricity. We're gonna be cooking with post oak today because that is a very Texas flavor profile. Also extremely common in Texas would be mesquite. Uh, you could use any other smoky wood like um, a mesquite, hickory, uh, even a pecan wood. But I, I want a good smoky wood, so I'm gonna stay away from fruit woods. I want something that's gonna lay a heavy smoke down uh, on this venison. Now that these are wrapped in bacon, I'm gonna just give a light application of seasoning across the top. Remember, we've already seasoned the tenderloin, so we don't wanna over season it. We don't, don't wanna be too powerful, but just do this to your liking. And we have a lot of meat church seasonings that would be good on the outer layer, but I'm just gonna stick with the holy cow, keep it nice and simple, similar flavor profile, and trust me, it's gonna be delicious. Today, I'm cooking at 250 degrees on the offset, but when I talk temperature when it comes to smoking, you can go lower 225, you can go higher 275, even 300, it's not that important. All right, those are looking good. We'll be back in a few minutes to check their progress. All right, guys, I just checked the meat. We're shooting for medium rare, which is 130 to 135 internal temperature. I like to pull venison just a little under that in the high 120s to make sure it's not overcooked. And we're there. And man, these look beautiful. So we're gonna let these rest for about 15 minutes and we're gonna slice them and get to tasting them. These smell and look amazing. I can't wait anymore, so we're getting in here. Woo, that's tender too. Look at that, medium rare perfection right there. Not, I mean, that is just crazy juicy, so don't worry about drying it out. And I'm gonna douse with a little chimichurri. Here we go. Man, that's tender. So good. I mean, obviously crazy juicy. So not overcooking it, wrapping it in bacon. Man, pairing it with that chimichurri. The pepper forward, holy cow. This is a home run every time. For all your outdoor cooking needs, visit your local Academy Sports and Outdoors or academy.com.